What's new in Cisco APIC? Here are just some of the new features. The new search functionality offers autofill and wildcards. When searching for an EPG, the first part shows the name of the EPG and the second shows the location. APIC now offers a summary view for things like tenants, EPGs, contracts, topologies, pods, leaves, all on one easy to read screen. You can now view your topology by zone. This allows you to view zones more clearly for better management of your network. You now have the ability to change severity or ignore a fault. By simply right-clicking, you can set a specific fault to be ignored on the monitoring policy default. Right-click again, and you can increase a minor fault to critical. Folder refactoring has consolidated folders such as policies into one easy-to-find location. You can now maximize your app's view for easier viewing. You've asked for the ability to customize the identity of your multiple APICs. Now you can by simply adding a GUI alias. Fabric Access Policy Simplification allows you to quickly view your switch interface profiles, policy, and policy groups. You can now copy and paste port configurations. Just right-click copy, then right-click paste. The multi-tier application wizard with service insertion provides a consolidated method of configuring components like bridge domains, EPGs, BRFs, services and contracts. It gathers the necessary configurations and combines them into a simple, organized, step-by-step -step process. These are just some of the new features in Cisco APIC.